In this video, you will learn how you can resize the image. That is, you can how you can change the height and width of your image using OpenCV. Let's import NumPy as NP. Import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt percentage matplotlib in line. Now let's import CV2. I'm going to read an image using CV2. So I will make one variable image. From CV2, I will call the method imread. And inside this, I will pass the image name, which is docimage.jpg. And then I will check the type of this image. Let us execute our code. So this is ND array. And let us also print the image, plt show and then image and here in the output you can see that we have this image here but first we need to convert the image color from bgr to rbg as rgb as we have already seen our previous tutorial that there is a difference in color channel between matplotlib and cv2 so matplotlib considers the color channel as rgb while CV2 consider it as BGR. So let us convert our color of this image into RGB. I'll make one new variable image underscore new. Then I will call CV2. From this, I will call the function CV2 color. And inside this, our first parameter will be our image that is IMG. The second parameter is going to be CV2 dot color. So all in caps lock color underscore BGR to RGB. And now let us plot our image PLT M show image underscore new. And now here in the output, you can see we got the original color of our image. So now let's resize the image while resizing. First, we will be Okay, so I'll first uh, show you the shape of this image. So if I type here image underscore new dot shape. So this is the shape of the image. 2250 is height, 3000 is width and 3 is a color channel. So if you look at the height here, so it is starting from 0 and it's going up to 2250 here. And if you look at the width of the image, so it is starting from 0 and it is going up to 3000 here. So the shape is height and width. But while you are resizing the image, this will become opposite. So first you have to pass width here and then you have to pass height here. So you have to remember that when you are resizing the image, you have to interchange the shape. That is the width will come first and then height will come. So now let's resize it. I will create one variable img underscore res then I will call cv2 from this I will call the method resize inside this we will pass two parameter the first one is going to be our image name so this is going to be image underscore new the second parameter is going to be the new size of the image and we have to pass that in tuple so I'll create a tuple here and as I have said that when we are resizing the image the dimension or the shape will change so first we will have width and then we will have height. So let's pass width as 1500 and height as 100-1000. And now let us plot the image. I will write here plt show and then image underscore res. Now let us look at the image. So here in the output, you can see now the image size has changed. So if you see here, we have the image size starting from zero. So height is starting from zero and it is going up to 1000 here. And then width, it is starting from zero and it's going up to 1500. You can see that. So width is going up to 1500. And we can also check like this image underscore res dot shape. So height is 1000. 
and width is 1500 so as we have passed here so we have this height and width in the opposite uh, way here so this is one way to resize your image and the second one is you can pass a ratio so here we have passed the number but you can also pass ratio to resize your image and let's look at that so let's say width ratio I'm going to make 0 0.5 and height ratio I'm going to make uh, let's say we will keep it same for now 0 0.5 and then I'll make one new variable image underscore uh, let's say I will write here 1 and then I will call cv2 dot resize and then the first parameter is going to be our image that is image underscore new and then there is one parameter tuple 0 0 so this you have to keep it it has no meaning actually and then you have to pass here uh, again the image name that is image underscore new and then you have to pass this ratio so first is w underscore ratio and second is going to be h underscore ratio so this is for width and this is for height and now let us display our image plt dot show image underscore one so here in the output uh, you can see that we got the image here and we have resized this image so we have actually uh, reduce the size of image by half that is 0.5 is 50 percent so if the original size is let's say if I print the original size image underscore new dot shape yeah so if the original size is 2250 so it will be half of this 2250 2250 and for 3000 it will be the half of 3000 that is 1500 so this is the new size uh, so here you will see width 0 to 1500 and height is between 0 to uh, I guess 1 to 0, 0 and you can also change this number so let's say we will make it 3 and this also 3 so now the image size will be just 30% of the original size and if I print this uh, so you can see that the image size is much smaller now so the width is from 0 to I guess 1000 and height is around 0 to 800 and earlier the width was 0 to 1500 and the height was 0 to 1000 somewhere around like that. Uh, one more function I would like to tell you flipping off image I will write here flip image so we can also flip this image that is we can rotate this image and let's do that I'll make one new variable image underscore flip then I will call cv2 from this we will call the method flip and then we have to pass the image name image is going to be image underscore new and now for flipping I will use here zero this is for horizontal so if I write here image uh, let's plot this plt im show image underscore flip so now you can see that the image has been flipped horizontally and we can change here if I make it one here so now also this image has been uh, change so here you will see the face is uh, from the you can say right side and here the face is from the left side I guess so from uh, where I am looking at uh, so this is how uh, you can also flip the image and you can look at other parameters as well if you want so these are the parameters so you have to just type shift and tab and you will get the parameters here so flip code is zero here you can see zero and then you can always increase or decrease so this is one is around so flipping around y-axis negative one means flipping around both axis so if I type here negative one let's see how this image looks like 
so here in the output uh, so this is looking like above picture that we checked already so this is how you can flip your image so there are different parameters you can try with so that's all for this tutorial this is how you can resize your image using uh, two method one is ratio and the second one is just by just passing the numbers and you can also flip your image i hope you enjoyed this video if you like my video you can subscribe to my channel thank you for watching